Hello friends, I'm Dr. Vivek and uh, in continuation with the theory portion, a little theories we, are, we have been discussing and in continuation to this theory portion, today we are going to discuss post-structuralism. A very important theory called post-structuralism. Theory. And uh, post-structuralism basically can be seen in continuation and development of structuralism or as a rebellion against it. So this is the first question we are starting this uh, theory portion called structuralism that whether this post-structuralism is a continuation of the earlier theory called structuralism or this theory developed against this concept called, against this theory called structuralism. <clears throat> the answer is, uh, it is a rebellion in the sense that structuralism did not pursue their own ideas about language until its last point. So structuralism came in again, post-structuralism came in against the theory of structuralism and saying that uh, they did not pursue, they don't pursue uh, this uh, meaning un uh, until its last point. So post-structuralism developed uh, in against the structuralism. For instance, one of the characteristics of structuralism is the notion that language does not record or reflect the world, but it constitutes it. It does not record, but it, it, it constitutes it, make the world. Post-structuralism find that the consequence of this belief is that we enter a universe of radical uncertainty where there are no fixed landmarks beyond linguistic processings. So uh, when they post-structuralism find uh, that, uh, that we enter a, a decentered universe if we try to explore more, try to get the meaning, if we go beyond the structuralism. Post-structuralist believes that all fixed intellectual reference points are permanently removed uh, if one applies proper theory of structuralism about language and we enter a decentered universe. They also believe that uh, if we apply proper theory of structuralism, if we go beyond the the limits go beyond the 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 uh, the points, and, and then we enter a decentered universe. Uh, we there is no fixed meaning of any word. They they reaches at that point. Difference between structuralism and post-structuralism. Structuralism derives ultimately from linguistics, and linguistics is a discipline which is always been inherently confident about the possibility of establishing objective knowledge. So uh, structuralism basically developed on the basis of linguistics, and linguistics uh, is is uh, is uh, believe, uh, it believes that uh, it believes in objective knowledge, establishing an objective knowledge. Structuralist believes that uh, if we observe accurately, collect data systematically, and make logical conclusions, then we have a reliable inferences about the language and the world. They, 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 they structuralists say that uh, if we uh, if we uh, systematically do uh, the mean uh, the the uh, the order, and then we can get a reliable inference, a reliable meaning of 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 any structure, any any sentence. <clears throat> Structuralism inherits this confidently scientific methodology uh, and believes that possibility of establishing reliable truth. Uh, they believe structuralists that believes that we can have a reliable uh, meaning of of the structures if we apply a proper theory. Post structuralists believe, on the other hand, 
they are just saying against or opposite of what structuralists are are developing a theory developing a, developing a meaning so structuralist says that on the other hand uh, on the other hand derives uh, itself structuralist derives itself ultimately from philosophy and the philosophy is a discipline which is always presented to be skeptical about achieving any secure knowledge of truth so they are skeptical because uh, structuralists believe the uh, propounded from linguistics and the linguistics believes in the uh, secure meaning proper meaning of uh, objective knowledge believes in on objective knowledge on the other hand post structuralists based on the philosophy and philosophy is skeptical about achieving any secure meaning so this opposite they are structuralists and post structuralists post structuralists believes in nietzsche's viewpoint there are no facts only interpretations very 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 aptly he said in context of structure, post structuralist which says that there are no facts only interpretations post structuralist inherits this skepticism and intensifies it he basically believes in this concept post structuralist develops terminal anxieties about the possibility of achieving any secure knowledge through language he says it's very difficult it's, it's they they are they are very skeptical about the secure meaning of true language they believe that the verbal sign is always floating free of its language so a fixed meaning cannot be assigned there are three reasons why uh, word meanings cannot be guaranteed 100% they are contaminated by their opposites for example they cannot be defined by night and good cannot be defined by evil it's true somewhere it's true that you cannot define a day by defining negating the night or you cannot define night by negating uh, day word meanings are interfered by their own etymology so the historical senses a word is always poses a threat to its present day meaning for example the seemingly innocent meaning of guest is etymologically reflects with the word host host and hostess meaning means an enemy or a stranger means what meaning you will take of the word the, the historical meaning you will take because there is a conflict in the meaning of the word itself so how would you define how would you get a proper meaning of a sentence of the structure long dormant uh, means sleeping basis of the words or the words are reactivated in philosophy and literature and they interfere with the literal meaning of the word structuralist accept that the world is constructed through language and they believe that the language is an orderly system so it can can be relied upon secure meaning see the structuralist says, says that uh, we can have a reliable meaning we can have a uh, we can if we apply a proper system we can reach on a proper meaning uh, meaning of the structure but on the other hand post structuralist says that we cannot because uh, we cannot get a meaning of the structure because there are terminal uh, skepticity about the meaning itself of the of the word and there is a conflicts uh, uh, in in the word and sentence itself so there are there are many things on the basis they are both structuralist and post structuralist post structuralist are uh, on conflict with so this is uh, this is a theory uh, and uh, whatever i have uh, discussed based on the beginning theories by peter berry and uh, the contemporary literary and cultural theory by pramod k naya <clears throat> so this is uh, uh, just a beginning uh, just a blueprint of this theories for structuralist structuralism and post structuralism <clears throat> Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks.